It took a little time to prepare and mail, but you finally finished sending out the invitations for the event. The invitations say it's a celebration, a family gathering like no other. There will be a DJ and all the fixings to satisfy anyone's appetite. So come see your kin at this year's Knockout Family Reunion. As you begin planning the event for about 50 people, you start to realize that you may have overloaded yourself on this one. Just putting the guest list together was a chore, and now the potential meal list, music list, hiring a DJ, and potentially a cleanup crew has your mind swirling. Maybe I need some hired help for this one, you think to yourself. But how do you know until it's too late? From training with the Stoicist, you've learned a few things about yourself. And one of those things is job overload. You know the signs when additional help is required. First, you consider how much time you'll be spending on things that can be easily performed by others, not needing your concentration to perform. A cleanup crew comes to mind immediately. Then there's the personal service that your guests will expect. Will this be a buffet-style event? Or will guests be served while seated? Since this will be a more casual occasion for guests to co-mingle, you figure a buffet is best. And then there's the entertainment. You're not a DJ, and although your family has a few would-be DJs, you figure you need to hire a professional on this one. Yes. A DJ can be expensive for a good one. However, you believe that obtaining a great DJ is a top priority to keep the party hopping and give everyone a day to remember. Thus, you decide to open the pocketbook for this one. In the end, you decide to pay for things that fall on the opposite poles, the mundane, no-brainer activities, as well as the key players to make this celebration a success. Items that fall in the middle of these two poles will be the items needing your personal attention. Preparing and mailing that guest list was one such task. Thus, you'll be putting your mental effort into the correct items so you can be certain that everyone enjoys the family celebration together. Now using my stoic storytelling method. We are hosting a big party. Should I get it catered? Don't be ashamed of needing help. You have a duty to fulfill, just like a soldier on the wall of battle. So, what if you are injured and can't climb up without another soldier's help? Marcus Aurelius. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Apostle Paul. I will seek help for certain items. I realize that I should pay for easily performable activities as well as those activities requiring expertise to perform so that I can concentrate on activities needing my personal judgment. The character trait I improved was knowing which tasks to delegate to others for an efficient and effective outcome. Thank you for sharing your mind with me. For your continued success, hear my secret. When help is needed, don't hesitate to delegate until the task is completed. Now relax, control your mind, and be as you wish to seem, empowered. Remember, it's the situation keeping my connection with him. I'm Lori Stith, the Stoicist, and I believe in you. If you like what you mentally now see, join my website to learn and think like me at stoicmatchmaker.com.